Hey guys, this is Shushank once again with another video. Today we'll be doing a 50,000 rupees or 675 dollars gaming bill. And the 50,000 rupees includes monitor as well as a keyboard and mouse. It's gonna be a long video, so sit back and enjoy the show. All the prices are listed at the end of the video, so do make sure to stay until the end. As we are using an AMD Ryzen processor, the Asus Prime D350MK was the best motherboard we could get at this budget. This is a micro ATX motherboard with AM4 socket and it supports AMD Ryzen CPUs and 7th generation AMD APUs. So let's unbox it. Out of the box. We get the basic user guide, some leaflets, driver CD, IO shield and the motherboard itself. We also get SATA cables in the box. Let's have a look at the motherboard now. On the rear end we have 4 USB 3.0 ports, 2 USB 2.0 ports, a standard Ethernet port, PS2 style, keyboard and mouse ports, display ports and yes we have the 3.5mm audio jack which we don't see often these days. We don't get the HDMI port with this motherboard. You have two RAM slots which support DDR4 RAMs up to 32GB and can be overclocked up to 3200MHz. You have only one PCI slot for graphics card, two PCI slots for other devices. You can also get an M.2 SSD which supports with this motherboard. Moving on, let's unbox the processor and see what's inside. This is the processor from AMD's new Ryzen series, the Ryzen 3 1300X. It's a quad core CPU with 4 threads and no hyper threading. It has 8 MB of L3 cache. Moving inside, we have the CPU itself. Let's keep it aside and we'll look into it later. We also get a CPU cooler within the box itself and there's nothing else left in the box. Opening the cooler, it has a decent build quality and also thermal paste pre-apply. Make sure not to touch it. Then we have the CPU which has a base clock of 3.5 GHz and turbo clock up to 3.7 GHz. You also get an AMD Ryzen sticker. Let's start assembling the parts. Starting with the motherboard, look for the arrow near the CPU socket and match it with the golden arrow in the processor. Remove the lock and insert it gently without any excess pressure. Remove the screws for placing the cooler. Well, there's no need of removing the back plate which is behind the motherboard. A few moments later. Place the cooler such that the AMD logo near the fan faces away from the RAM slot. I have made a mistake, make sure you don't do that. Adjust the cooler with the screw holes. Now insert the screws diagonally and don't tighten the screws completely right in the beginning. After placing all the screws, now tighten them all together equally. Now that we have the cooler installed, insert the fan power cable into its socket. For the RAM, we went for the Corsair Vengeance 8GB DDR4 which is of 2400MHz. 
well, you can also go for two 4GB RAM sticks which will result in better performance due to the dual channeling. Remember I had told you to insert the CPU cooler the opposite way because if you insert in this way, you cannot insert two RAMs as the cooler is going to block one of the RAM slot. NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti is the same graphics card which we had used in the previous PC build. It's still the best budget graphics card, has 4GB of VRAM and is capable of playing almost any title in medium settings. As usual, you have the driver CD, some leaflets and the graphics card itself. The cabinet we bought is from Circle. It has 4 USB ports, 2 USB 3.0 and 2 USB 2.0. The special thing about Circle Luxor is it has built-in power supply of 400 watts which is enough for this PC to run. In this cabinet we have the screws and the power cable given. We have the 24 pin connector for the motherboard, 4 pin connector for the processor, 3 SATA power cables and 4 pin peripheral cable. Before putting everything together into the cabinet, it's better to check if the system boots properly or not. Just insert the 24 pin cable into the motherboard, connect the CPU power cable. Now take the power on cable from the cabinet and insert it in this location. The arrow mark represents plus sign. Insert the graphics card into the PCI slot and connect the HDMI cable to the graphics card as well as the monitor. Note that the display ports in the motherboard only work with A series CPU and not with Ryzen series. So it's mandatory to use a graphics card. And there you go, that's the first sign of success. Insert the IO shield into the cabinet. Use 6 of the golden colored screws and screw them up. Now adjust the motherboard with the screw holes and IO shield. A few moments later Remove the back plate from the case and insert the graphics card Well this is the best graphics card in this price point Because all of the graphics card even the Nvidia 1060 or RX 480 have literally doubled up in prices That is from 15,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees Now insert back the back plate This is a hard disk from Seagate called Seagate Barracuda which is of 1TB. Fit it into the hard drive bay using screws. Now it's time for cable management. Use a SATA cable to connect the hard disk to the motherboard. Insert the 24 pin power connector and the 4 pin CPU power cable. Don't forget to connect the power cable to the hard disk. Insert the USB 3.0 connector to the motherboard.
carefully insert the 2.2 cable and also the HD audio cable. Now it's time for having a little patience and installing the final pins of the cabinet into the motherboard which are too tiny. Match the cables with the ones specified in the motherboard. The arrow mark indicates that it is positive. Finally, the PC build is complete and successful. In India, the offline prices are far cheaper than online prices. We bought all the parts from Bangalore in SP Road. The US prices are from Amazon. The 50,000 rupees PC build includes a monitor as well as a keyboard and a mouse. Here are the prices of the parts we used as of 2nd of September 2017. I hope you enjoyed this build guys. For more videos please do like, share and subscribe because that's the only thing that motivates me from doing more and more videos. If you have any doubts or queries please do comment below and I'll reply to it. This is the 50,000 rupees gaming build and I'm Shashank signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.